Now it's my job to help us to go beyond the, oh wow, to think what are the possibilities. All right, thanks for talking to us today, I appreciate it. In what areas can higher education lead the development of Internet of Things, and in what areas will industry lead? Oh wow, okay, higher ed. My goodness, this is a gold mine for us because you're talking about on time, real data coming in. So let me give you a teachable moment. If you look at Internet of Things where you have a person reading a book and upon stumbling over a word, data is coming in to say to that professor or teacher, you know, Robbie is stumbling over the word control. That means that teacher right away can say, all right, she's stumbling over that word, I need to provide remediation. Instead of waiting, what, a day, a week, or month for evaluation, she can do or he right there on the spot. That's the beauty and that's the advantage of IoT, the Internet of Things. However, let's switch that to the opposite. If I'm using it for uh, manipulating how I'm going to address various, um, I'm, I keep using shopping, sure. um, then you go, wait a minute. If I'm not ready to walk down the street and all of a sudden um, my phone, my clothes, my jewelry starts to uh, ring that I need to go and purchase something, then you start to think, wait a minute, are we going a little bit beyond the intent of this? What do you see as the most critical element to the development of the Internet of Things in higher ed? All right, I can see three areas. Number one, again, privacy. We need the privacy. Number two is safety. You don't want someone tracking you and that data is used for things beyond um, education. Um, the third thing is basically um, creativity. If you are um, connecting and networking, where's the creativity in all of this? So in higher ed, I look at us to, number one, look at standards, again, for privacy, safety, and to promote teaching and learning. Uh, last question. What are some interesting ways that uh, Internet of Things is, is applicable for learners and institutions? Oh, wow. Well, first of all, my new role is edu-gadgets, meaning smart gadgets, wearables, sensors. In other words, I can have clothing that will give off real-time information. And just coming into the hotel, the restrooms um, are connected. You're giving Internet of Things. You don't even have to turn on the light anymore. You walk in and the lights will turn on. However, those lights are giving back data to the hotel saying when I'm going in to turn off the lights to help with, you know, green, meaning I'm not leaving the lights on, but to give them information of when, what, and how. So I look at the Internet of Things and all of the edu gadgets, everything connected from toys to um, clothing to chairs, furniture, you name it as a way of really shaping teaching and learning if we do it the right way. What's been your favorite edgy gadget that you've oh run Oh my into? gosh, you ready for this <laughs> sure. one? How about a smart frying pan? <laughs> what does it do that's smart? Well, number one, it will allow you to put food in and it will let you know when to turn it over. Okay, now again, I don't cook, so that was like a wow to me. <laughs> but I have three more that I have to share oh, with sure, you. Please, How yeah. about that smart refrigerator? Whereby you can go past your refrigerator and just say, what ingredients do I have? And the refrigerator will talk to you and will list all of the ingredients that you have in the refrigerator and you will say, recipe, and it will come up with recipes of the items that you have in your refrigerator. That's now, come on now. That's really cool. All right, and how about a smart diaper? 
okay, as oh, a grand, oh yes, as a grandmother, <laughs> you know, I'm from the old days uh -huh. where the smartness was basically you putting your fingers inside that diaper right. and wishing for the best. Now you have smart diapers that will ring your phone when it's time to change the baby. Now it's my job to help us to go beyond the, oh wow, to think what are the possibilities. Look at your hospitals, your senior citizen home. Look at all of those who would need that type of technology for care and changing. So again, I have the best job in the world. I look at all of these smart gadgets from again, clothing to shoes to see what are the educational possibilities. Well, Robbie, thanks so much for your time. Well, thank you. Always good to talk and to And I you. look to connecting with you. Absolutely. Yeah. We'll use a traditional uh, smart device, though. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs>